friends, this is Steve Kaufman here, and I'd like to just uh, talk a little bit about right hand technique so that when you take my courses or download my videos or my uh, single lesson downloads, we're on the same page as far as the right hand goes. Now, if you really want to get involved in the right hand, uh, say you're a player that's been playing for a long time and you just have reached this plateau. If this doesn't work for you, then go on and, and get my uh, Picking Up Speed DVD because it's all right hand based. Okay, so what I usually tell people to do is hold the pick as you normally would and then see what changes occur as I describe what I do. Now I'm using a uh, 7.73 millimeter yellow Delrin pick made by Dunlop and I've used these for probably 30 years and uh, um, I like them because it's a standard shape. I can get it anywhere. You can probably get this pick anywhere as well. Uh, the the uh, the material, it makes it so that it sticks to your skin really well. Uh, if I'm in a really dry place and, it, and I can't get it to stick, I just do that and that pick is stuck there. And then what you'll also find when you're at jam sessions and they see so you do that, that uh, no one will ask to borrow any picks. Now if the edges get worn, uh, scratchy, you can buff them out on the carpet and they will slick out like a brand new one. So, as far as I know, this is the only material that will do that. It's a, uh, it's a great material, and like I said, I've been using it through uh, three championships in a long time now. Countless records and projects. So I really like these, and uh, uh, try them. You know, and, and also, anything that I use, you can find it on my site. For example, I use DR strings. I've been using these for 25 years, and, and uh, this may even be the original set. I don't know. They last a long time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do right hand wise is I'm going to hold the pick with the side of my first finger. So if you're thumb wrestling or anything, that's the side of your finger sticking up there. Okay, then my thumb goes over the top and I uh, kind of form an X uh, with my thumb and uh, index finger. I have lots of air right here, which means I'm not making a fist. When you make a fist, you can see all the stuff that happens here. When you make a fist, that all tightens up. Even if I'm not holding the, the fist real tight, all this stuff tightens up. And what happens is that, I happen to know from experience, when you start playing faster, you're going to get more tension. So you want to start off with as little tension as possible. Now I keep these two fingers hanging out loose, and my little finger, is, uh, when I'm playing my lead, is stiff to the top. Meaning that it's, it's actually there to give me support. Okay, it's not curled under. I don't have my finger under the first string. You don't want to do that. I don't have it. I've seen people put it in the sound hole. You don't want to do that. Just post your finger, but it's not an anchor because your wrist is going to make it move side to side. Okay, glide along the top. Um, so my, my little finger is always, always moving unless I'm going really fast. And then it, 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 it would move, but I'm going so fast I can't move my wrist as far. So you don't really notice that it's, it's moving. You know, if I play real slow, it can move a lot. And uh, so what we're going to do is, is look at playing slowly so that you get used to having your wrist move a lot. Because I play out of my wrist. I don't play out of my elbow. Though my wrist moves so much, it looks like my elbow is, is doing the work, but it's not. Okay, it's really coming from my wrist. Now at the same time my wrist is going down and up, it's also going in and out. Because it has to, it has to clear all the strings. Six thousandths of an inch with a swing from about four or five inches away. Not the easiest thing to do, but I've been doing it a long time. Usually I hit my mark. Every once in a while I will not, and it just makes me aim better the next time and maybe smirk a little bit. You know, I don't particularly worry about it. Now, if you have your pick flat on the first string, all right, you're taking a basically taking a snapshot from your uh, of you going through your strings and from the tip of your elbow to the pick is probably a straight line, your wrist is probably straight. Okay, what happens is your elbow gets you to the string you want to be at while this mechanism is working. Okay, so if I want to play across the strings, it's my elbow that brings me over there. Okay, it's my elbow that gets me across the strings while this just goes back and forth. It's very simple. Quarter notes are always hit with down swings. Eighth notes alternate. Those were all the eighth notes. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Quarter notes are hit down. Eighth notes alternate down and then up. Okay? 
Um, so if you're flat on the first string, pick is flat on the string. What I'm going to do is, without moving my wrist, because I've set my hand up and my arm up to hit that first string, I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, angle the pick forward about 20 degrees. So for me, it's going to go this way. Okay, and you'll see what happens when I do that is my my thumb bends, and that's what you want. Okay, you want to have that thumb bend to give you a little more articulation. The thumb bending allows you to pow a note every once in a while. Bam! Thumb drives it through. So <clears throat> if I have a locked thumb, I don't have that. It sounds really uh, stiff. If, so what I'm going to do is I'm flat on the first string. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, manipulate my thumb and my index finger so that the right side of the pick lifts off the... Uh, uh, let's see, I'm not sure if I'm doing it. I can't do it backwards. So the right side of my pick is lifting off the string, and my left side is making the contact on the downswing. And then the top right of my pick makes a contact on the upswing. And it pretty much stays on that angle. It's not like I'm playing from here. I've just got it bent so that I can force that through and get a little more, uh, and I get a little more bounce out of my playing. If I have a stiff thumb, then everything ends up being even toned. Whereas I like to play with what they call a loose feel. So it's instead of straight eighth notes, you hear how stiff that sounds. I made it stiff by locking my thumb. Okay. If I want to play with, with my uh, loose feel, I loosen my thumb, it relaxes my whole hand, and now I can play from here. I'm not playing just mechanically, okay? Uh, and, that, and that's about it. You play across your strings. I play on the edge of the sound hole, I don't, uh, unless I'm playing um, like a cross-picking style. And then I'll lock my thumb, stiffen everything up, come back to the bridge. Uh, if I'm playing fiddle tune stuff, I'm on the edge of the sound hole. If I'm playing waltzes, I'm in the over the sound over the sound hole so it gets nice and dark sounding if I'm playing at the Holiday Inn then I'm gonna play up the neck right so uh, that's that's it in a nutshell if if your right hand train changed dramatically there uh, let me point this out too since I'm posting here, I'm not going to hang out on the bridge. I don't want to be on the bridge because then I'm going to have to have that feel of those strings. I'm going to be able to play the middle strings really well, but I'm not going to be able to play the outside strings as well. I can't play evenly across the board there. Uh, the little finger just lets my whole hand travel all the way across. Okay, So I don't stay on the bridge. I don't want to do that. I don't want to uh, have my arm up and off the side. My arm rests right on the side. If I have it off the side, then I'm kind of playing like a jackhammer. It's very difficult. I can't, uh, you can't control it as well. Um, I don't play freehand because I don't have enough volume when I do that. There are a lot of players that do that, uh, but um, the first thing they'll kind of say is, you know, I'm not going to be heard, and that's kind of what happens. Now, so I, like I said, I use a medium pick. I got medium strings, medium uh, uh, action, and uh, it's worked for me really well. I hope this has helped you just a little bit, and if you need to go further, you want to look at the uh, Picking Up Speed DVD. All right, we'll see you in a class.